Korean researchers have developed a new way to get pollution out of the air and at the same time convert it into energy. The hope is to have the method ready for use in the next 10 years. Our science correspondent Kim ji reports. A local research team came up with new materials and technology that can help turn carbon dioxide, a major culprit of air pollution, into an alternative energy source. The team says its plasma-enhanced catalyst utilizes artificial photosynthesis, which triggers chemical reactions to create energy. However, up until now, it was difficult to preserve the energy from artificial photosynthesis in the past due to the plasma's vibrant and unpredictable movement when they absorb sunlight. The technology is expected to help turn solar power and carbon into viable energy sources. The study utilizes the properties of resonance frequency of plasmonic nanoparticles, which are collective movements of free electrons that occur upon interaction with certain wavelengths of light. For instance, in cases of particles containing one level of energy source, they would resonate and multiply in ripples, just as the waves on the surface of water when a stone is thrown into it. When they resonate, the energy frequency is enhanced to 5 to 10 times. Normally, due to the vibrant properties of the plasmon, the catalyst would die down in 30 minutes. But we've managed to contain the plasmonic frequencies for 48 hours, while enhancing energy efficiency. The team says it plans to find ways to further preserve and enhance the plasmon's energy efficiency through its photosynthetic catalyst made up of metal and organic materials in order to commercialize the technology for use in solar cells within the next decade. The team says it also wants to expand the study to turn carbon dioxide into an energy source before it disperses into the air and become hazardous air particles. Kim Jiang, Arirang News.